And we're back to learning Gimbe and this time I'm going to show you a simple light speed effect. I don't really know if light speed is the correct term for it, but we're going to recreate the effect that I've used for the thumbnail of this video. Here I've got the original, you will find that via description link below. I click on this icon to copy it and let me rename it. Make sure you've got the light speed layer active, then go to filters, distorts and you will find a filter called wind. If you check the preview, you can see the effect applied in real time and you can blend it here, which is basically the same as the blending mode on top of your layers. We don't need it, so let me close the drop down. By default, you've got two styles, wind and blast. I'm going to show you this later on when we can see more of the effect. The direction is self-explanatory, so it can come from four directions. We're going to set it to left. Let me go down with the threshold, so more is affected. And we can play around with the edge affected function right here. The best effects, or let's say the most intense effects you can have when you use leading. For the two sliders, you've got strength, which is basically the intensity and threshold. So if you go up with the strength, it gets more intense. And with the threshold, you can adjust what is affected by the strength. And now if I change it to blast, you can see that we can preserve much more of the details if we want to keep them. And wind, it makes it a little bit more blurry. For the effect in a thumbnail, I go down a little bit, let's say to 50 or something. And then I click on OK. And this effect compared to the original. The results they depend on the image that you use obviously, but it's an easy effect and quickly done. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.